Hey there, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use presets in Lightroom CC Desktop. So to start with, let's hop on over, go to wherever your download links are to download your presets. That's going to be our first step here. In my case, I'm going to go to shop.signatureedits.com and log in. Once I have logged in, I'm going to go ahead and download the presets that I've purchased. So in this demo, we're going to show you how to install the white collection. So I'm going to download the XMP presets and the XMP profiles. And I'll explain what those are in a second here. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and open them up in my finder window. If you're on a PC, you'll just want to right click the zip files and click extract. In a Mac case, all you have to do is just double click and then delete those zip files. Open up Lightroom CC and we'll import our presets. So hit this top icon in the top right and go down to the very bottom where it says presets, then up to the top right again, hit those three dots and go to import presets. Now navigate to the folder where you've downloaded those files and open up the presets. And once that's done, go back to the three dots, do it a second time. And this time you're just going to open up the profiles. Just like that. And once they've imported, you should see a folder with the new presets there. So you can see I've got SE white, 1 through 10, and I can go ahead, just select whatever preset I want, apply it to a few demo photos for you, and we'll talk about what's inside. So you can see there's 10 looks inside of this pack. Now you may have a different preset pack, and that's fine, but just highlighting some of the features, you can obviously switch between the looks and find a look that works for your setting. Obviously getting the exposure and white balance right makes a big difference. And adjusting the profile strength is where these presets are really cool. With this particular pack, we have custom profiles for every single preset, which means you can go from zero all the way to 200% kind of strength. So just like on Instagram, you would fade in the effect. That's exactly what you're gonna be able to do here with these presets. Now, just a couple other notes. No matter what preset pack you're using, there's a few tips that are really going to get you much better results when using presets. The first is make sure you get the white balance right. So let's apply a preset here. And it looks pretty good out of the gate, but I want to show you the massive difference the white balance can make. Let's say this photo were just a little bit warmer. Maybe I shot it on a cloudy day and my camera's auto white balance was off. Or, you know, I just forgot to change it. Then the preset might actually look awful. It would look like this if my white balance had been warmer, right? So make sure your white balance is right because that's going to make the difference between the preset looking weird and actually looking really nice and normal, no matter which preset pack you're using. The first place to start if things aren't working properly is your white balance. The next thing to look at is going to be your exposure, your contrast, and your tint. So let's go to another image here. I'm gonna show you this particular image. For some reason, the skin is just a little bit too desaturated and a little bit too bright for my taste. It looks unnatural. So I can come down here into my color mixer, mixer <laughs> and select the oranges and just grab the luminance and pull that back a little bit, just a little, and that should make things feel a lot better. So here's before. And here's after. I've just darkened it down a little bit, and we'll also desaturate it a little bit as well. Now the next thing to take a look at, your contrast and your exposure. So we can try bringing our exposure down, bringing the intensity of that preset up a bit maybe, and then maybe dial back on the contrast just a little bit. And I'd actually like a little bit of saturation in her dress. It feels a little bit off to me. So what we could try is going back to our HSL panel again, grabbing the blue, and adding a little bit of saturation. Actually, her dress was more teal. So let's just see if we can get a little bit more in there. There we go, something like that. So again, here's before and here's after. And this effect is pretty strong. The white pack is meant to look, make things look white, so that's why it looks the way it does. If you're thinking things are a little washed out, it's intentional. So again, this one, this effect may be a little bit too contrasty, so I can dial the contrast back. My whole point here is that if your presets aren't working right away, it doesn't mean the preset isn't going to work. It might be something simple. Your white balance might just need a little bit more warmth or a little bit cooler, and that'll make a massive difference by itself. Or it might just be that you need to turn the oranges or the yellows just a little bit darker, or maybe grab some saturation, pull the saturation down just a little bit. The key is balance, and just tweaking little things often will make a huge difference in the results that you get with your presets. So here's before, there's after. Looks pretty good. I could use maybe even a little bit more of this contrasty filter, something like that. I like that. So those are my tips for you. Make sure you're getting your white balance right. Um, try playing with the tint, the white balance, if things just aren't feeling the way you think they should. And then after that, make sure you've really nailed your exposure. Some presets look really great 
once you add a little bit more exposure, but they don't look good naturally. And likewise, some just need you to back it off a little bit and back off the contrast a little because presets can't account for every single lighting situation. You have to kind of, as the photographer, be the creative eye that says, yeah, I need a little less contrast because it was a super bright, sunny day. Or I need a little more contrast because it was just way too cloudy and soft. So that's up to you. And I really hope you enjoy these presets. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions or you're having trouble in this tutorial, just go ahead and search on YouTube first. Obviously, you can reach out to me, but I'm going to say right now, Adobe is constantly updating their software. And so if you have a slightly older version of Lightroom or a newer version than this video, that's okay. There are hundreds of tutorials on YouTube. And if you just search for your specific version of Lightroom, you're going to get way faster answers than you can get by contacting support. So check there first, check YouTube. And if not, if you can't find the answer, feel free to reach out. I'll do my very best to help you fix things and get your presets working the way you want them to and getting your photos looking awesome. So I will see you in the next video. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, we post tutorials and new content all the time. So if you want to stay in the loop, make sure to hit the subscribe button or head over to YouTube and search for signature edits. Otherwise, I will catch you later, I guess. Thank you so much for purchasing these presets. And I would love it if you would actually tag us at Signature Edits Co. so that I can see the creative work that you are making and share your work on our Instagram page. Use at Signature Edits Co. and hashtag Signature Edits Presets. All right, I will say goodbye for now. And in the meantime, go create something awesome. Peace.